Okay. So, got the SJ9 Roomba, and the tires are all but gone. If you saw the steps of how to get into the Roomba and get the little tire modules is what they call them out. And you have tires like this, and you can actually buy little $8 treads and pop them on there. We were able to get this one on so far. Looked just like that from before. So, how do you do it? Well, first things first, it's all about this little spring right here. What you'll note with the spring, you gotta get it loose. Once you get it loose, you can pop it all the way forward like this. You gotta get this spring back in afterwards. And it's attached down inside. It's kind of hard to see the little piece of plastic that's there. And this might be easier to see. There you go. See it in there. It's hooked. When you push it down, it'll release. And then you can push it all the way up. And you can start spinning the tread back on. Of course, taking this tread off, you're gonna need a screwdriver has little rubber plugs in each of the discs to hold it on and to just rip it out. And once you do, you'll make room for the new tread after you remove the old tread. And that's how you get the your tire on there. Just kind of feed it and spin it as you do it. Moving the tread, you get in there and just kind of pop that loose with a little screwdriver. That's probably the best way to do it so you don't stab yourself. And just keep pulling it and you're gonna get to another little nodule. There's, Jesus, six or seven? Yeah, if you leave a little bit of rubber in there, that's fine. It'll end up pushing on the back side of the tread. So, that's okay. Let me get this done. Let me get this together. Ooh, that happens too. The old nose pliers help. It's gonna be a very long video. <laughs> it takes a minute to get this tread out. And stop it. It's very well anchored. <laughs> <laughs>